By order of the Council of the Keepers, you must come with us. Garrett, be reasonable. Logic dictates... Leave. But we must... Now! Has your wealth of knowledge grown so vast that you've lost all hunger for more? Is there no more trust between us then? <sighs> Let's make this fast. My hand is copper, my brow is lead. Suffer me in a red patina, swept along in a molten flow to a sad eternity. My stride interrupted, my thoughts untimed. My tears are become drops of silver that shatter the crystalline fern. I plead the wind to sweep us away. Nice poem. Not poetry, prophecy. The metal age is upon us. I picked the gilded apple from the iron tree. I wipe the rust from my brow. Iron trees? Not in my part of town. Find the humor if you must. But can you tell me truly, Garrett, are there any trees in your part of town? I will answer for you. There are not. Destiny and danger are still focused on the one, the renegade who is both brethren and betrayer. Well, you got the danger part right anyway. Tell you what, you keepers can plant a few shrubs about town and... I'll take care of me. I'll find my own way home. You're a fool! Do you not understand what is at stake? Did you not hear the interpreter's words? Yes, Keeper Orland. He has heard. Do not despair. Let me go after him. Alone. Not to persuade, but to leave the door open between us. One more moment, if you will, Garrett. One moment. You have trouble, my friend. Danger from someone who hired Truart to kill you. Yes? Then take this. The sooner you are done with your business, the sooner you will help us. Don't count on it. My heart, it my heart, it ceases. My breath undrawn, my eyes, my eyes forever, forever focused, focused on this sanguine metal on the sanguine dawn. Metal dawn. I headed back to my safe house and kept thinking about the letter. I know they're trying to manipulate me, but keepers never alter the truth. Just keep it in the shadows. Besides, it's not like I got a lot of leads anyway. If you seek the private knowledge of the sheriff, go to the Eastport Mechanist Seminary tomorrow night. With stealthy discretion, overhear what you may at a certain very timely meeting. Looks like I have something useful to learn from a seminary for a change. There are two open towers and some back doors which might be helpful for getting in. The catacombs below the church could be another way in, but I'd rather not tread where the dead sleep. The meeting will most likely take place in some sort of conference hall. <laughs> There's no guarantee that I'll even be able to get inside, but all I need to do is get close enough to listen at the door. I better pull this off quickly and find a new hideout before the Bulldogs get my scent. This situation does have one advantage. Things can't get any worse. Who could hire someone like the Sheriff to kill me? Time for a little eavesdroppery. Alright, I need to overhear the Sheriff's conversation. <clears throat> I should start when the church bells toll midnight. Mm. Alright, so eavesdrop, um, steal at least 800 in loot, and get the hell out.
What do I have? I still don't understand why I would ever want to use a flare when my best... The best thing for hiding me as a thief is shadow, so why would I want to use something that generates light? That doesn't make any sense at all to me. But anyway, again, the money only lasts for the next mission, so I might as well spend it all. Um, don't need healing potions. I always need flash bombs. I will take all of those, thank you. Alright, can't afford that. I'll take some speed. You know how Garrett loves his speed. And, yeah. Should be good. Let's go. Man, I'm still really impressed with how much the textures have been reworked with the uh, Taffer Patcher. It looks really good. Except those things. There is the odd thing that isn't replaced. Like, look at that. It's really incongruous. You have the pretty nice texture below it and then the hideous texture above. It's super obvious that it hasn't been changed. If I had to patrol around here and hear that squeaking fucking gear all day, every day, I think I'd go insane. God, somebody get some WD-40. Damn. Alright. So I'm at the front gates. There's a meeting hall. This is not a very good map. Yeah, I'm just gonna run around until I find an entrance. Obviously, I'm not going in through the front doors, because that would be dumb. So, let's go this way. If someone be there, then oh. speak thyself. Shit, I did not know that was metal. I think she's coming down from somewhere, but it might take her a while to get down. Find out what that noise was. Distinguish more carefully. Determine Whoever that thou be, I shall find thee! Um You have found nothing then. <sighs> it is best. I don't Okay, a couple things happened there. A couple things just happened that I'm trying to wrap my head around. Okay, so I think she had the super psychic thief AI again, where she magically knew where I was because she was in a state of alert. But, for some reason, despite that, she was completely and utterly blind. Even though I was two inches in front of her face, she wasn't able to see me. So that's one thing that happened. But something else happened. And that's this creepy-ass noise behind the door. What the fuck is that? That does not sound human. What is that? I don't even know if I want to know. It sounds creepy as hell. My oh, God, it's even breathing hard. Oh, what the fuck is it? Oh my god, what is that? I don't want to go in there. I'm curious, but it sounds fucking horrible. What is it? Where, where is this? Where's that going to? I, 
Uh, I don't even know where the hell I am on that map. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is that? What am I looking at? Is that a machine woman? Can I knock out a machine woman? See what that is. Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanist did here. The others to the intruder's presence. <laughs> okay, she looks a lot less creepy than she sounds, and also she's totally blind. She sounded really creepy, but she just kind of looks like a person wearing a really shitty B-movie monster costume. Wait, what the hell? What? What have they been doing to people? Oh, this is where they transform them into machine people. Ugh. Laboratory equipment, no thanks. I still don't know where I am on that map. Oh, hello. Thought you'd get away from me, did you? Oh, uh, uh. I really learned to hate these guys. I didn't want to be standing on the thing that opened when I opened it. I fell into a pit of bodies. Great. Okay, this is one time where I kind of do want to flare. Don't think you have anything on you. Nope, nope, nope. Ow. Fuck you, cloud of... cloud of flies. <sighs> Actually, can I close this? Because this is just a falling hazard at this point. <sighs> there we go. Hi. I'm just gonna go the other way. Goodbye. I keep opening up the map as if it's gonna tell me where the hell I am, but it doesn't. Alright, that's the second time that's happened to me in this game. Where I lean, I lean back, and then I, it shoots me in a direction. Alright, what am I hearing? Oh, whew. It's just a pipe letting off some pressure. I thought it was maybe some gigantic machine robot thing. That was about to pound me into the ground. Uh, I'm still opening the map as if it's going to help me. And of course it doesn't. Alright, well the front door's over there, so this looks like a back door, so let's go in here. Seems like a pretty solid plan to me. Stupid gratings everywhere. Mm, 
this looks too good to be true. Is this a trap? Is the entire floor going to give way and I'm going to fall into a pit of spikes? Ancient hammer. Hmm. It could maybe be a quest item? Jesus, that was loud. I'm just going to leave it there, just in case I need it. Chances are, though, it's just a stupid hammer. Okay, I hear the sounds of spirits and laughing demons. That's a good sign in a graveyard. What the fuck is happening here? What is wrong with this place? You've got metal people and a graveyard full of angry spirits. You people are fucked up. Hmm. Uh, let's just go up here. Wait, I can listen to it from here? Are you serious? Listen on one of the- oh god, wow. I'm already there. Okay. From the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you. The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precaution. The truant name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust in me, for tis the builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes, I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, uh, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then, in the form of... a uh, demonstration. The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate. But I must ask thee to step away from the masked servant, that's right. And meanwhile, I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Wait. It's not me, is it? Come, gentle beggar, and stand be just there. Next okay. Whew. Man. Now, all is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant. Bless me. But it consumes them. We are in peril. Fear me not, said Sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. 
They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, tis very much like rust and harmless once suffered. Brother Fegan, I pray you to sweep up what is left of those two. Yes. A weapon, then! Quite fantastic and monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. They need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project, and I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up, charges invented, etc. Still, there's always the risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Carrot, so you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. Yes. Very well, Trish. Now see, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure 20 subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Truett. Yes, his loyalty. <laughs> Truett fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my wax cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words, even as they moved through the air today. Hawking friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, <laughs> and those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. With his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fagin, thou wilt see to it that this wax cylinder machine gets safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in the acolyte's quarters. Friends, we are adjourned. Return now to your duties. I'd like to get a copy of that key myself. Indeed, something tells me it's going to come in handy. All right, so I've got to get the oops, got to get the key, and I need to steal at least eight hundred in loot. So it's in the acolyte's quarters, which is right there. Um, I guess I'll just um, hell, let's enter this door. Or not. Can't pick the lock and I don't have a key. Never mind. Whoops, I meant to jump I meant to jump over that, not on it. Hmm. Can I put out these what look to be magical torches? Ooh, I can. And I can relight them apparently. I don't know why I'd want to relight the torches. Alright, guard barracks might be some good loot in here. Oh, the basement. I wonder what demons await me down there. No thanks. Let's see, Acolyte's quarters should be right up here. Or 
down here? Where the hell am I? It's somewhere here. I see a bunch of stairs and then, yeah. It's kind of hard to read the map. Oh, look, it's another desk. With... Squished instrument panel readings that tell you nothing. What? Uh, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Ooh. Hello? I better come back here and replace this key when I'm done with it. Good point. What the hell does this go? Is this a secret... pathway? Alright, so I need to make an impression of it in wax. Mechanist mace? <laughs> of course, the mace head is made out of gears. That's gotta be a really shitty mace. Master Gaspar. Oh, of course they write like this, don't they? Thy name was mentioned to our Lord Karis as one who might be welcoming to the future. Perhaps thou hast heard of the Mechanists, but thou may be confusing us with our hoary forebears. Hoary forebears? What the hell does that mean? The hammers. Okay, I think I get it. Um, where they spurned thou and thy kind, the Mechanists embrace those with a voice. In the city's future, perhaps thou might attend a sermon at Angel Watch? There may be, uh, there be many wonders we would be happy to show thee in our workshops. Friend Tickspring. Yeah, that is a really awkward sentence. Hoary forebears. Hoary forebears. Hoary. I don't know what hoary means. Hoary. H-O-A-R-Y. Prickly? Quick to anger? <laughs> I don't know, I've never heard that word before. Alright, wax impression and more loot. So where would I make where would I make a wax impression? Probably somewhere in the basement, I'm guessing. So far, I've barely seen anyone here at all. Who would leave money in a pouch just sitting on a chair? Oh, I uh, hear someone in there. Oh my god. It's the, uh, the chapel. Nah, it's too dangerous. I'm not going in there. Way too big, way too open, and way too guarded. Actually, wait, I think I can open this door now with this key. Nope. Basement time. Excuse me, are there any demons down here? Hello? Actually, I think I do hear demons. It's an interesting place to store a statue. A pox upon it! Never shall I finish my design. The springs and gears conspire and confound me. 
Calm, friend, calm. On the morrow, let me come by thy workbench and help thee untangle things. I... I would be most grateful, couldst thou help? Tis nothing. Think on it as the copper and tin mingle to make the stronger bronze, so dust we each mingle and flow together in Karis' forge to make stronger as well. Thou art wise. Tis Karis who is truly wise. His bounty and the machines we construct shall help all of humanity in the coming times, and all shall know his wisdom. I will be glad to have this wretched task behind me that I might move to a more profitable position. God, I would not want to spend a single minute with these people. Oh, this is definitely where I would make the... What the fuck is that? Uh, okay. So this is definitely where I need to make the wax impression, because this is a workshop. But... But what the fuck am I looking at? Some sort of a patrolling robot. I can't... I assume I can't knock that out. And I'm also assuming a flash bomb would be completely useless. I don't know how to fight that thing. Oh great, I'm in the catacombs. Danger. It's a friggin' maze. And I don't mean corn. Where does this lead? I hear someone right outside. What is this? Oh, it's a box. No thanks. Holy symbol. And it's actually part of my inventory, so I must use it for something. Hmm. Maybe I can use it to defend myself against demons! That sounds like a spirit of some sort, but it doesn't look like one. A lovely little torture rack here. And an Iron Maiden. Man, this place is just filled with loot. I'm sorry, what was that? Could you say that again? That didn't... That didn't work? Uh-oh. Um... Whew. 
right, angry spirits can not be knocked out. Hmm, another key. I almost... I almost have enough loot. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if I find the rest of the loot that I need in the, in the workshop. Uh, where does this go? Are some foreboding stairs. If someone is there, then show thyself. <coughs> Look at those candles. Do I have an invisibility potion? I think I do. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Oh. Stop thy flutterings and hold. Uh. What? I'm just going to accept that and move on with my life. All right. Anyway, like I was saying. I guess that's, like, the thing they worship or something? Because I've seen that statue a bunch of times now. I guess it's some sort of machine god or something. Anyway, is that someone right there? Oh, that card's actually looking the other way. Yeah, what I was going to do is use the, use the invisibility potion. <laughs> Sprint over here, steal this stuff from the from the pulpit, and then just get the hell out of there. But now that no one's looking, I don't even have to use the invisibility potion. I'll just walk right up. Yoink! <laughs> of course, look at it. It's all made out of extremely loud metal. I'm just gonna stay up here. Ooh, there's a key. I want that key. There we go. And that. And that. <laughs> and that. And this. Psalm 13. When thou art born. When thou art born, thou art blind, and weak, and squalling. So is the ore, weak and crumbling when it is pulled from the earth. Stoke thy, for stoke thy forge, and burn away all impurity. These mechanists are just as bad as the hammers. Yeah, they're just hammer 2.0. Re-hammer time. Man, is it really weird the way textures like distort and shift when they're at the edge of your view? Look at this. Oh shit. Never mind, I was going to show something, but there's a guard. And he's gone. Like I was saying, <laughs> is, uh, these pews. Look at this, look at the texture on the pews. Look at it. 
on the left side of the screen, bottom left. Look at the way it shifts when you move. That's so weird. I've never seen that in a game before. I don't know what could cause it. Oh god, is there something coming? Alright, you know, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Goodbye. Okay, I meant to jump over him. That didn't work too well. Alright. Um, I am here. I need to get back to the workshop. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's find my way out of here. Once again, the map's almost entirely useless. So I'm just gonna run around this... maze of a graveyard and try to find my way out. Oh, I did not see you before. Oh, just a healing potion. Lame. Is that where I came in? I don't think that's where I came in. Nope. Okay, so that... Where am I? Wherever I am, it's not even listed on the map. I'm guessing it's probably, like, here or there. <laughs> so I need to go north and then east. I think... Or maybe I just need to go east? Oh, here we go. Is that thing just like broadcasting propaganda? Glory to our metal gods! I sure as hell don't want to fight that thing, though. Swords are good against flesh, not so good against metal. It's no big secret that the Mechanists are the ones supplying Sheriff Truart with those machines. <laughs> oh, they put all that work into that thing and they can't even give it good speakers. Like, <laughs> can't even understand what the hell the thing's saying. Alright, what does this say? Friend cultist, recent experiments have confirmed my fears. A mere water, mere water can indeed halt the builder's children. Ooh. If a significant amount of moisture pools in the aft boiler, the result is complete paralysis. The weather has been agreeable of late, but if a thunderstorm were to strike... Cultus, I task you with fixing this problem immediately. Water poured directly into the boiler may shut the children down, but you must at least be competent enough to protect them from a simple rain shower. Father Karras. Hmm. The boiler. So I'm guessing that means if I shoot an arrow shaft in their back, they will be shut down? Good to know. I'm gonna shut that baby down. Um, what? Okay, that didn't work too well. That is the boiler, isn't it? It's the back. There we go. <laughs> I guess it has to be right on the back. The malfunction. 
thing's actually kind of cute. Alright, let's make a mold. God, look at that. Gauge. That's like... It's like they purchased the gauge meant to be readable by senior citizens. Are you sure it's big enough? Alright, here we go. Got my little putty knife, got some molds. Got a thermometer that tells you degrees but doesn't tell you what degrees they are. Fahrenheit? Centigrade? Kelvin? Who knows? Friends, if thou wouldst make a mold, press thine item into the wax press. Such impression being made... Use the putty knife to scrape away the top layer of wax. Use this method, Use this method, friends, to make molds of most small articles. Keys, cogs, gears, springs, and the like. To create a tool of hardened steel, give thy mold to Brother Mendelus, whose place it is to work the fires of the forge. Wait. To create a tool of hardened steel, give the mold to Brother Mendelus? How do I give the mold to Brother Mendelus? Is Brother Mendelus a person? Because if it is, I certainly can't just walk up and say, Hey, I'm a thief and I was trying to steal this key and I made a mold of it. Could you turn this into hardened steel, please? So I can trick all of you? And by the way, I have like 800 gold worth of your property in my bag. Can you do that for me? Thanks. So I don't understand how that's going to work. Unless maybe Brother Mendelus isn't a person, but like a machine. Do they give their... Maybe they give their machines names. They do seem to respect them a lot. Maybe they think of them as people. Can I make an impression of a holy symbol? Nope. Um, here we go. And then putty knife. Excellent. Anything else I can make an impression of? Any other keys? Oh my god, I can actually make... Wow, you can actually <laughs> use the wrong key on it. Alright. Oh, oh, with the wax key impression, you can make a copy later after you leave the seminary. So the wax key copy is for me. Of course, that, that totally makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, I just got to bring it back to the place I uh, took it from. You're telling me that thing is made so weak that it can be shut down by shooting a water arrow at its back and it could be entirely destroyed by throwing some laboratory equipment at it? What? Oh my god. That thing is pathetic. That thing is an example of how not to engineer anything ever. It shuts down if you shoot water at its back, and it explodes if you throw something mildly heavy with a mild amount of force behind it at it. What? I don't understand.
All right, let's get the hell out of here. Return to the front gates. It's okay, spirits. Go back to sleep. It's fine. Don't worry. Your torment will only last forever. Well, they're never gonna find that. There are the front gates. Alright. Invisibility and... Speed. Make a run for it. Uh, made it. 